Ken Surfs here with another shave video. You know, I've been cranking these out uh, kind of quickly this weekend. I think oh, this will be the third. But uh, man, when a new product comes or something you've been waiting for comes, uh, I got to just anxiously try it out. And yeah, I noticed if I catch it on the uh, video, you're getting the first impression. So if something goes wrong, like if I'm going to get cut or something, you're going to see it. So it's different than if I do it in private a few times and then, oh, it worked. Now I'll shoot the video. So you're seeing first use, first opinion all the time. And uh, I am going to do the first opinion on uh, the new brush I got. And I kind of did a preview, an unboxing of this the other day, uh, the Panta Ray brush uh, made in Italy. Uh, but uh, some people had asked some questions on it, and I didn't know the answers at first. But uh, I contacted uh, the gentleman in Italy, and man, he, like I said, he got back to me within five minutes. And somebody had asked the size not on this. And they, they said, or uh, his reply was, a 28 to 30 millimeter knot. Now, as far as the loft is concerned, here's a Simpson Chubby as a reference. And the loft is a little bit higher. Don't know if you can see that, just a tad higher than the Chubby, but you definitely can see the knot size compared to the Chubby is uh, a lot bigger. I don't quite know what the Chubby is. Uh, this is a Chubby One Simpson. I'm not quite sure what the loft on that is, but it's pretty close. And if you have a, uh, let's see here, I've got the uh, Plisson. That knot is, uh, the loft is higher on the Plisson for sure, but look at the size of the knot compared. Uh, but the loft is a little higher. So the loft is, is probably close to the uh, chubby one. And, uh, Maybe on one of the Omega Bore brushes, of course, that's a lot higher loft. But again, look at the knot size. So we're going to give this a try today. And uh, with it, I'm going to try the, uh, I'm going to bring this out of retirement, haven't used it in a while, the Sella. This was one of the first soaps I bought that wasn't uh, Arco or something like that. And uh, we'll be trying that out. And I used that Nivea last time. I don't even think I have it down here. Or not the Nivea, the... Uh, Pro Rosso uh, aftershave uh, balm. It was like a cream. Zero burn. So uh, I love the burn. In fact, someone commented in uh, one of the uh, comments on one of the videos that uh, they love hearing me say that, and uh, it's their catchphrase now. But this one, Captain's Choice, feel the burn. So this one is supposed to burn more than uh, any others out there. I don't know if that's true or not. That's a claim I heard, but uh, I'm going to give this a shot today. And I'm going to use the uh, Gillette Silver Blue Blades. One thing I've got to admit about this Gillette blade, I don't know if you paid attention, but you know, they're wrapped like double. They're wrapped, you've got the, uh, instead of the blade inside, just the wrapper, now you've got another wrapper. So they really, really, you know, go all out in their packaging, uh, the Gillette Blue Blades. And I'm gonna use the uh, Maggard MR5 with the V3 head today. I've got it about ready to get the, uh, the blade into it. So when I come back, I'll, I'll have lathered up a bit and uh, we'll use the, uh, uh, probably the art of shaving pre-shave oil today. Haven't done that in a little while. So we'll use that again and uh, we'll be right back. All right, I've wet my face a bit. We'll put on some of this uh, art of shaving gel. Pre-shave. And you know, uh, I was just realizing I pretty much copied my dad, you know, when it came to wet shaving. And one thing he never used, but you guys out there who have the videos use, is the alum block. So I uh, bought an alum block today. It's on the way. I'll have to try that out after shaving, because I've never used it before. But, uh, you know, everybody seems to say they work great. And, uh, you know, I take your word for it. I will try it out. I'm always willing to learn from my mistakes. All right. Well, I got the uh, cella opened up, and I've got the uh, the brush been soaking. Shake it off a little bit. Now let's see if we can get that lather going. All right, the uh, lathered up pretty good, pretty good. So let's see. I'm gonna use the old school rotational way here, not just painting it. Man. Fits the hand great. Now, since it's ceramic, somebody had said, what if you drop it? 
And uh, now that wouldn't be good. When I got the uh, carpet down and wooden floors in here, so, but uh, we'll try not to drop it ever. By the way, I smelled the brush. No wet dog smell. So, uh, in case somebody asks, it smelled pretty fresh uh, before I use it. All right, we're going to use the Maggard MR5 with the V3 head now. Looks like the brush shed a bristle or two, but it's brand new. What do you expect? If you're wanting a razor handle that you can really grip, uh, this is it. And it'll fit on any head you've got, I believe. All right. Let's try the second pass. That barrel handle is so good, it fits your hand really well. They have the straight cylinder or the barrel. Very nice. Fun time. Feel the burn. Oh, yeah, I feel that burn. Oh, man. Whoo! Cat of nine tails. You know what? We're going to hit it one more time. Make up for the last time I missed it. Oh. Very nice. Very nice. Well, that brush performed great. And uh, all was that razor. That razor works good. The, M the V3 head on there. So, man, sorry I flooded you with so many videos this weekend. It's just I was all excited about trying them out. And I wanted you guys to see it for the first time, too. All right. Until next time, you guys have the rest of the weekend great. And uh, we'll see you next time. It's Ken Surfs.